Oh, what is up, everyone? Boys and girls, how it's going? What is popping? And I got the message on my cell phone, the mail from, from YouTube, right? Notifying me that I'm live. What's going on on this uh, very stressful Monday, Tuesday? On this Tuesday. All right. Um, yeah, what? Let me do some administration, some business, some marketing. Twitter. Let's go. Let's notify the boys from, uh, from Discord. Boom. Lazar Facebook. <laughs> what is up, Facebook man? Represent once again in the club, the network of high value software engineers, high value devs. That's what we are. That's what we always have been. And that's what we, what we always will be. Um, it's early streams. This, uh, this week is going to be early streams. Hey, it is what it is. All right, all right, all right. So basically, what is up, uh, Mionye? Mionye. What is up? Welcome. Welcome here to the club of high value engineers. Ben, hi, man. What is up? So basically today, <clears throat> we are uh, going to continue um, the adventures of uh, the order book shenanigans. You can see we have the Next.js websockets from uh, our Go application, right? So we have cross, this is basically cross spread. It basically calculates, um, we have all these websocket streams from Binance, Kraken, Bybit, Coinbase. And we basically calculate the, the best spreads between these exchanges for arbitrage trading, quant, quantitative trading, if you want to do some arbitrage, that's that. Of course, this is basically in... Um, okay, need to be sure that uh, I'm not muted. It's not the first time I do these shenanigans. <clears throat> of course, seeing this will do nothing, right? You could see this big spread here. Uh, but we need to be careful because Binance, Bybit is going to be USDT. I'm not, not quite sure. So, But the thing is, we can basically have this WebSocket stream, this data into our own application, into our own ar algorithms, and then we can, based on the spread fire off some trades ourselves. The next thing I want to build today, or try to build, is um, some kind of a cool indicator we can use visually for manual trading. If you want to do, if you want to spot some opportunities in the market, a WebSocket stream, where we're going to take, for example, best 10, a depth of 10, 10 bits, 10 asks, and we're going to, we're going to aggregate a volume on a certain, um, how do you call that, a certain weight. And then we're gonna basically see where the support and the resistance is based on the sizes on these levels. <laughs> and what we're also gonna do is we're gonna fetch the trades, the last trades of the market, the trades actually, bam, bam, bam. And then we're gonna filter them on size so we can see what, what the whales are doing, right? If there are big trades on BDC, for example, and you see 10, 10 BDC, 5 BDC, 10 BDC, 15 BDC coming, that's whale shenanigans. Then um, we can see what they are doing. Are they buying? Are they selling? What are they doing? What are these guys up to? Smart money. <laughs> All right. Uh, ben, apologies. Missed the first few vids. Are these third-party APIs free to use? Yes, I'm using Gorilla, and we're gonna. Uh, we will see. We will see what's going on. Let's. Um, uh, wait. I have twenty thousand taps. Open, that's not true. Actually, a couple of five. <laughs> um, this is my, what is this? This is the front end, so we're gonna, we're gonna yoink this front end out of here, and then we're gonna go back to this uh, order book thing. Let me, first of all, open up the settings real quick for the blind homies. We're gonna say editor size 18, then we're gonna to the bottom, and then we're gonna say one, right? I could do two, but one is good for now. Um, wait, what is going on here? And the register shenanigans here. Let's kill this. <clears throat> so I'm using actually. Let let let. You will see. You will see. Uh, for most of these uh, providers, Bi Coinbase, Binance, um, I'm basically uh, coding the websockets with Gorilla myself, the protocol, while coding. And coding, uh, but for I think for Binance and 
Kraken, I use a Go package. But to be honest, the, the, it's best you do it yourself. <clears throat> okay, cool. So what we're going to do is, instead of... Um, we have all these providers here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to... Because we boot up these, these things. Let me open up main to show. Let me open up main, 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 main. <clears throat> so we have these pairs, right? Uh, we need to map them because all these uh, providers basically have their own representation of a, of a symbol. It is what it is. We need to, we need to live with that. And then uh, we have all these providers, Kraken, Coinbase, Binance, Bybit, and more to come, of course. We boot them all up in, in a single binary, in a single binary application. Go binary. Go compile binary, right? Uh, and that's okay, but I want to do it a little bit different now. I'm actually going to, in providers, I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call this Binance because that's the first victim. I'm going to make a, a folder called Binance. And then I'm going to make a new main.go file inside of this bad boy. Package main. Funk main. Just like that. And I'm, So we can spin these, um, these data streams separately. Right? You could spin up one for Binance, one for Coinbase, yada, yada, yada. So basically in our front end, we will see only one order book with all the shenanigans. And not the complete streams of all of them together. If that makes sense. <clears throat> Let me first check uh, what's going on on YouTube real quick. This is uh, terminal shenanigans. Let me kill this. Close window. All right, cool. Everything is set. It's good. Stream is healthy. I'm healthy. You're healthy. Let's go. All right. So we're gonna basically copy some some stuff over, right? I'm not gonna rewrite the whole shebang. Um, it's Binance, Binance Go, right? So we have this. We're gonna set. We're gonna let these these providers do their thing because otherwise we break um, our other application, right? And the main goal is to basically build a complete platform. Well, platform quote quote uh, a complete toolkit which basically i want to build for myself with data i need right order book data and not um candlestick client data we don't i don't want that that's good for detecting trends over a longer period of time uh, but not for opportunity trading that's what i call it or quant trading algorithmic trading automated trading hey um Okay, so we have Binance order book. Uh, what we're gonna do is we start this thing. This is the handler. Can you guys see this? Yeah. Um, okay, let's let's do this. I'm gonna say type. I'm gonna call it worker or something. I don't know because we are in Binance package. Type worker is gonna be a structure. <clears throat> I'm a front-end dev getting very interested in Go lately and found your cool videos. Hey, Amen. Welcome. I'm going to turn you into a god, into a savage beast. Eating bites for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Right? Um, okay, I'm going to copy these two things here because I need them. So I'm going to put them into worker. Order book. That's basically our map of order books, which is uh, auto, not as an balanced tree auto balance automated balanced binary tree avl tree symbols a string that's fine and uh, then we're gonna call this like uh w workers let's call i'm gonna call start on this like this doesn't really matter uh new binary other books let's let's do this funk new worker Man, it's so cold here. I'm not gonna lie, it's a minus five degrees. <laughs> My hands are cold. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so rusty. And I didn't actually code that much today. A lot of uh, business stuff going on, a lot of side shenanigans, right? Uh, stuff needs to be done, right? You cannot always code. Sometimes you need to do business, marketing, business, you know, self development, fitness. I'm sore. My legs sore. My, my shoulders, bowling balls sore. My pecs sore. My back, every, my lats, completely sore. I'm trashed, so uh, tomorrow is rest day. All right, so it's going to be a, a worker here. Uh, like that. And then we're going to say, first of all, we're going to make these books, right? Uh, and we can actually do this, copy the whole shebang, because, hey, we wrote it ourselves. 
new workers. We're gonna give some symbols, I guess. Because we're gonna spin up workers basically for um, for all symbols. Before, uh, for example, man, I'm mixing my own language with English. Can you imagine? For example, it could be BDC USD, ETH USD, ADA USD, and all that stuff, right? So we're gonna specify that here. It's gonna be a worker. Like this. Or the book symbol. All fine, all fine. We don't need that stuff. We're gonna copy the whole shebang here. Return R. That's fine. An error. B order book. That's gonna be W, right? W order book. W order book. Um, are we gonna attach the sockets? Print. Uh, F maybe. Starting Binance. Worker. Maybe gonna say WS worker or something. WS worker uh, with some symbols. Rusty as fuck, not gonna lie. We don't have symbols. We have symbols actually. Uh, w symbols, like that. Do this. Um, W, B, 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 we, Binance worker, it's gonna be a new worker, and then you're gonna get some symbols, let's open up main real quick, what is Binance, BDC USDT, yeah, BDC USDT, like that, and I'm gonna say log fatal, uh, Start. It's gonna be small caps, right? Of course, I need to update my make file real quick. I'm not gonna build. Um, I'm gonna make a new one. I'm gonna say build. Build Binance. Let's copy this, paste it in here. I'm gonna build it in this folder, but. Um, Is this gonna work like this? Not quite sure, I never built in a folder to be honest. Uh, Binance. <sighs> Providers. Binance. Man. Finance. Ice bear, what is up? Welcome. Uh, fuck it. I already called this a day. I'm gonna do it like this. CD, providers. <coughs> I'm gonna say go run may not go like this. Boom. Undefined arguments. B. Okay gonna be W. Starting minus, yes. Uh, and then we have null. That's because we... Okay, I see what's going on here. I think this is basically gonna block here. If R is gonna be this guy, uh, R is not nil. Look, fatal R, I guess. Uh, oh man, I'm s the struggle is real. Uh, R and then actually gonna block real quick here. Let's see if it sticks. If it sticks, hey. Okay, it sticks. That's fine. 
Okay, that's that's the first thing. The next thing we're gonna do is a server, right? So we need to have a socket server. We already have one, and we're gonna copy some stuff over. Because wait, so What are we doing in main? Calculate cost pets. Um Data map string order book. Let me. Aye, aye, aye. 40 minutes late. How are you doing? I'm fine. Let me, man. I'm fine. I'm fine. I know it's an early stream. But uh, this week I have the kids. And uh, I promised my son to watch football today. Let me quickly see who's actually playing. I, I said something against. Uh, let me quickly check. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I think today is going to be Lionel Messi versus Croatia. Um, it's, um, how is this, this uh, guy from Croatia called? It's um, Itch. He's calling Itch, but the, the prefix, I don't know. Old man. I think he's 38, but still 36, which is my, my age. <laughs> um, so Messi, Messi playing. 10 wives, so 10 kids, no man. Uh, Two kids, two kids. And uh, I'm raising them single-handedly. Single dad. You know what I mean? Two kids, myself. Business and all that shebang. Um, the God gifted man. It's, uh, it's a struggle. Modric! Modric, boys. That's what it is. Modric is going to be insane. And Lionel Messi, I can see. Messi is... He, he's... How can I say this? He's irritated. Right? It's behind. It's under his under his nails, so not not quite sure what Messi is gonna do tonight. It's gonna be it's gonna be two two directions, right? It's gonna be binary, right? It's to, to, this this evening is gonna be binary. It's gonna be Messi is gonna be a genius, or he's gonna be he's gonna be so irritated and frustrated with himself, and uh, it's gonna be and Croatia is gonna is gonna go to to the semifinals, right? Of finals. What, what is this? What's going on here? Let's go to the finals. Because it's the semi-finals. Alright. <laughs> Messi is a high-value engineer. Yeah, Messi was a high-value engineer. He's, he's very smart still. Um, but the problem is... It's a problem... It, it's a very common problem in life. And that's basically... The journey is basically where you shine. That's where you peak. Right? If you do something, a hobby or or in a career path or something, it's the journey at a certain point in your journey, you're peaking because you're hungry, right? You come from nothing and suddenly you get traction, you get a, a good football player, clubs are interested in you, you play like a god, you have self-confidence, you're young, you're hungry for more and more. But at a certain time, it basically the peak is gone because you're already fucking rich. Uh, you're sick and tired of everybody knowing you. Eh, paparazzi. So it's the same with Ronaldo, right? And then the only thing that's in your way is your ego. And then you're fighting with yourself. You're fighting with your ego. Because you're not the player you used to be. Although he can have, he's very important for his team. And he can he is very smart. Um, but it's time. It's time to get rid of Ronaldo, it's time to get rid of Messi, it's time to get rid of all these guys, and it's time for new players. Uh, Killian, it's time for Killian to shine. Uh, although I think, I don't know. The problem is these guys are getting paid, paid way too much, right? It's insane. Look at me, look at me here. Broke as fuck. Alright, so let's, let's continue here. Enough football. Uh, so that's why I'm an early stream, by the way. <laughs> so I can uh, watch with my son. Because he's a messy fan. Okay, I need to go back in the zone. Okay, so what we're gonna do is... Um, Mbappé, man, he's good. He's a good player. I'm gonna lie. But still. Haaland. 
Haaland should be in the in the World Cup, but he's not. That guy is so funny. He's a beast. Zlatan, the same thing. Zlatan. All these guys need to get... A, it's time for new. New new blood. Young blood. It's time. Right? You're rich. You fucked a lot of girls. Move on with your life. Right? <laughs> it's good. Chill. Sip some margaritas at the beach. And, 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 and send them to my stream. All right. Um... What are we going to do here? We need... What is this? Order books. Okay, cool. I see what's going on. Okay, so what we're going to do is we have this thingy. We're going to make... Um, I think we're going to make some kind of a loop. Worker. Um, I don't know the name, so I'm going to call it loop. Um, new, no, time, new ticket, real quick here, are we? Are we gonna take here? Maybe, let's do one uh, time, no, 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 100. I don't think we need this here, but hey. Uh, let's do this. Take it, C. <clears throat> so, we're going to spin up this loop somewhere. Uh, start. Are we always going to do it? Probably not. Um, because we're going to have a panic, but it doesn't matter. We're going to say, we loop. Just like that. We actually could also do it here. Uh, Mbappé will meet the fate of Cristiano. Yeah, I think so. I think so. It's Mbappé is already is all he's young, but Mbappé is, is is already quite a while in the game, right? Um, take a seat. Wait, I, I need to think because, uh, wait, what's going on here? What am I doing? Okay, we're going to have this red loop here. Bellingham, Gavi. Damn. Okay, so... Um, we're gonna say for underscore symbol in range. It's so called in man. Symbols. Um... OB is going to be the order book, and that's going to be W, order books, symbol, right? Just like that. And then we have something like OB asks. Okay, cool. So we could do something like uh, FMT real quick. FMT to see FMT. Uh, that's fine. We could do OB best ask price. Something like that. Actually, we could do... Percentage dot uh, to f. Are we gonna do? No, no, no. We're gonna say dot f, f. New line here. Price. Um, Ob best ask size. The problem is, is got. I think we're gonna have a panic. Size. We don't have that total volume. Um, and then we're gonna tick again. And then loop. And we're gonna have a panic. Yeah, see, it's already panicking, and that's the problem is that um, we first need to check. Um, let's say best. What are we doing? Best ask is going to be ob best ask if 
best ask is not nil because we're, we're booting up uh this this go loop this uh, this loop in oh it's so fucking cold in uh another go routine and it could be that it's already printing things out but the socket did not fetch data and all that stuff right so we're gonna say uh if it's not nil actually what we could do maybe better to to el eliminate this check is actually to continue here uh a couple times right and then print it out actually i think that should that should work all right, so now we have uh, best ask. That's fine. A 17. Oh, price is, uh, is up already. I thought it was 16. Um, that's that we have here. Then we need to calculate. Now we're going to calculate the 10 best shenanigans. So what we're going to do is order book. Let me close uh, this one, this one, this one, and this one. A book spread. Uh, we're going to say funk B book get best uh, N. No, we're not going to do that. What is ask here? What is this guy? What is this? What is this kind of type? An order book limit. Okay, we, we're fucked. Order book limits. Okay, cool. I think I have an idea. Where are limits? Uh, new limits, yeah, 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 land best, all that shenanigans, fine, fine, fine. Uh, so we're gonna say here, L, limits, get best, N, um, N, int, maybe depth or something. It's gonna return me a nice slice of... Um, What are we going to return? Are we going to return the, the binary tree pointer? I don't think so. Entries. I think we need to make an entry. I'm going to quickly do it here. Nice and dirty. What could be an entry? Uh, an entry is a price. Which is a float 64 in our case. And uh, it's also going to be a size. Right? And now we can actually... Um, yeah. That's what it's going to be. No pointers... No need to be. Uh, so we're going to say that the entries is going to be make me a slice of uh, entries. If you see if you see the ice crystals coming out of my nose, let me know. It's time, uh, man. It's uh, although the 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 heat is at eighteen degrees here. Hey. Guys, you need to donate more or subscribe to my Patreon so I can actually provide warmth for myself so my fingers, they are not the best. Stiff. Rusty. And for the people that are not subscribed yet to the channel, you can do me an enormous favor just subscribing. You don't even need to ring the notifications bell for me. Just subscribe, give me a thumbs up and uh, put something in the comments, right? Does not, does not matter. Just do it so YouTube thinks it's an interesting stream. And it can boost uh it can boost it to the algorithm and if you're doing that you can actually click the notification bell because you're you're, you're dead anyway right <clears throat> all right it's going to be uh make me a slice of entries it's going to be the depth right the depth 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 and then we're going to say for this is actually some some different because um our limits is going to be this is a binary tree Self balancing, balancing, tr uh, balancing tree, binary tree, and um, iterator, nil nil, four, it.
Next. Can I do something like... Um, can I do something like this? Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Uh, that's gonna be a new entry, right? So we're gonna say entry. I'm gonna make it clean. So we're gonna say that the price is going to be uh, it item price, and then the size it item size total volume total volume entries. Is that a thing? Oh man. Not quite sure. We will see, eh? Alright, so we are here. So what we could do is um Best 10, A. Hey. Actually we don't care. I'm gonna say best asks. Just try uh, prototyping stuff out, right? Before uh, I'm gonna Put things in the web socket and read it in next GS. Um, asks is going to be the OB. Asks. Shit. Okay, no function. Okay, 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 okay. All good, all good. And then we're gonna say if um, do we have len? Yeah, yeah. Is zero. Alex, get get best n ten. FMT print a len. Look at this, programming and rhyming and shining at the same time. Best asks. Yeah, sometimes life's hard. No iteration in progress. Okay, we are fucked, right? Uh, it was too good to be true. Sometimes things are too good to be true, and when it's too good to be true, it's most likely not true. No iterator in process. Of course, because we are not incrementing the iterator. <laughs> Can we do this? Can we do... We can't. I'm just trying stuff. I never did this before, by the way. Can we do so... So No, we can't. We can't. We can't. It, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I'm going to say Y plus plus. And then, when, when are we going to stop... If I equals depth, uh, then we break or something. I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> All right. Hey, that's fine. So we have basically an... Um, well, actually... A sorted uh, shenanigans, right? So this is six, six, is six, yeah, and fifty-nine, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's sorted, but it's basically right now it's the order book with a um, zero point zero one. No, zero point one. Zero point zero one. <laughs> Wait. Precision, right? Uh, and this is good if you really want to do very, very. High frequent if you wanna if you wanna do a frequent trade, if you want a frequent trade, high frequency maybe, something like that. But uh for the indicator I wanna build, which is basically more for uh to see quickly check a market PTC for example, and I can see okay, the gross of the volume is at that level. It's basically some kind of a support, right? And uh, the other gross of the volume at the bit side is at that level, and then I can see a nice list of trades where I can only 
filter out, for example, the bigger trades to see where the gross of the volume is going, what the whales are doing. Well, whales, what, what the big money is coming from, something like that. And you can extend that with, with a lot of other stuff, right? So kind of a VPVR volume indicator, but based on, on real-time order book data instead of these uh, other things, right? Um, what, was, what am I doing here? Okay, get best end. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I'm thinking. Main Binance. Ten. Ten lines. Depends basically on, on the on the depth, right? Uh on the on the precision. I'm thinking I'm uh should I aggregate it right now already or should I wait? Bits. Bits. Not N. Four. So that's that. We're gonna say that the bits are gonna be give me the best bits from the biddies. We can actually print out bits right now just for the sake of compiler um, satisfaction. Okay, um, we have these things, that's fine. And now I basically want... Because I'm thinking right now what data I'm gonna send to uh, the front end with the WebSocket, right? So I'm gonna send all these entries, but I also wanna send basically I don't want to do the calculation in the front end. I don't want to calculate where the, the, the most of the volume is sitting, what kind of entry. Um, we could do that. But you could also do it here. We could say here, for example, um, Uh, something like that because then we can actually loop through all these entries and then we can spot if it's the biggest size then we can actually draw something cool or or put some um some focus on it or whatever because that's the biggest size it basically means that there is the gross of the volume which means that there is most likely a very good opportunity to buy or to sell depending if it's an, a bit or an ask right and all in real time right um, so it's not going to be something you can see like a VPVR or something in your charts of trading view because the problem there is that you're going to have the volume based on a lagging indicator, the volume based on uh, a one minute tick or a four, a four hour chart or, or a, a one hour chart for, for example. In this case, uh, you're going to see the volume real time, right? Milliseconds milliseconds that you don't have that right you don't have that although there are tools that are doing this but they are very complicated well not very complicated they are just more advanced right um i think we could do something with this with this um
Look, I, I think I have a cool trick because we can do something. Where are we using this? Get. What, what's going on? Ah. Did it get F? Okay, cool. I see. So what we could do is um, shit. We can't. We can't. Chat so quiet today, man. It's nice. Well, it's not nice. I mean, it's it just... Sometimes I think, what the fuck, nothing happens. So I, I quickly check my uh, studio, YouTube studio, to see if, if everything is okay. Because um, you never know, man. It's not the first time that I streamed for, for hours. Um, where I was not streaming at all. But I thought I was streaming. Crazy. Crazy story in the beginning. Man, so many decisions I need to make. Do I need to... You know what? Let's... let's. Hey. You know what I'm always telling you guys, right? I'm always telling... Make it simple and then uh, iterate upon that. Working at the same thing. Nice la Lahar. Lazar or whatever. Still here. Thanks, man. Lazar. I I'm gonna call you Lazar. 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 Lazar is fine. Um... Okay, it's fine, 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 it's fine. First things first. Providers. Best bit, best ask, that's fine. So we're gonna send... Um, we're not gonna take here, to be honest. Should we... Coding and watching GAAA, it's fine, man. Multitasking, eh? Multitasking. That's what I want to see. High value, pro uh, ha high value production, productivity. MVP comes first, yeah, man. It's it needs to be, it needs to be. But but the thing is, um, Let me see how I did this with the server real quick because I'm thinking about the channel I'm feeding it to the channel but I cannot basically uh, rate it uh, I'm basically rate limiting, uh, rate limiting it right now uh, Oh yeah I see we, yeah, yeah 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 we don't need to Because the thing is this this basically is going at the speed of light Actually not because it's a Binance WebSocket and Binance has a um, This combined depth surf one, one, 100 milli What is this thing actually? Yeah, that's something uh, that basically already limits a bit the endpoint, right? So we're gonna get 100 milli updates, which is, I think, it's is high. It's high. Not quite sure why. I think Coinbase updates at the speed of light, and these guys are limiting us. Is there another way? Maybe. Maybe there is something that's faster. There is also 1,000, uh, I know, somewhere. Okay, probably not. I thought it was. Adept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, I want to I wanna check this actually, to be honest. Because now I'm curious. Uh, let's, let's do not take heat. Right, let's not take. Wait, let's just uh, comment this take it out. I'm going to see. I'm going to see what's going on here. Um... How can I test this real quick? I'm gonna say here, because this is a tick, right? This is basically each WebSocket event here, so I'm gonna say uh, println. 
I'm curious. Uh, thick. Ticky ticky. Uh, this loop thingy, I'm gonna actually cut it off real quick just to check what's going on. Uh, go, run, main, up, go. So this is 100 millis. <clears throat> Time since start. Yeah, of course, Anthony, you're a fucking idiot. And you know it. <laughs> what a gamer! What a gamer I am! I'm confused. That's the thing. That's that's basically we don't know because it's a Binance package from some random dude and we don't know this dude. So it could be a high value or a low value engineer. We have no clue. And uh, I basically tested all these packages uh, from Coinbase Bybit and they are all garbage most of the time. So I Maybe, maybe, maybe this, maybe this guy's a low-value engineer. I don't know what's going on. Depth surf 100 millis. I'm pretty sure there's thousand, ten, nothing. Wait, there was something like that. What's going on here? Binance. It's pretty sure. Uh, Binance uh, WS combined. Combined. Oh, it's not a combined one actually. I think it's the depth surf. Oh no, it's not. It's just 100 millis. Okay. So what happens if we do no millis? One one milli. That's what I want. One milli on the bank account. <laughs> um, but one one million is not too much, right? That's actually if you're one million, it's it's not too much. But uh. This is basically not 100. <laughs> Slow as fuck. Uh, so it's gonna be this one. Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, this is what it is. Uh, can you show line numbers, please? Uh, no. Yes. But why do you want line numbers, uh, Bashiri? I don't have line numbers on because, yeah. Um, man, I I'm gonna betray myself if, if I do. I'm not used to them. They're just in my way. They are. They're they are just cluttering up the screen because I can go to ten and I'm at ten, and I can go to line twenty and I'm at twenty here. And if I want to go to two hundred, which is not there. Or uh, maybe 24, even here, you see what I... You don't need line numbers. Um, okay, cool. One, we, we fixed, or not we fixed, we, we uh, basically tested that. Okay, so we... It's fine. We can tick, uh, we don't need to tick here. We don't need to take. No takers because it's already... I can swear to God, to Coinbase, uh, they are sending like an insane amount. I think they have... Uh, not quite sure what, what, what they're doing, but they send it like maniacs. Okay, so now we're going to make uh, some kind of a channel. Um, we have server. We're going to make our server here, actually. So... God damn it, now we need to... Um shit. God damn it. Ch 
Uy, 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 uy. actually call it already server or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna refactor this anyway. Uh, let's call a server and and and, and uh, struct. What's going on each? Cons. Shit, this is WS con. Why did I do that each? Topic symbol. Doesn't matter. It does matter. Is it actually smart to... Wait, 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 I have an idea, because we can... If I need to do this for, for, for all these other guys, then... Uh, for all these other providers, it's gonna be nasty. So, I think we could make... Um, it's in socket, right? I think it's good. It, I think we don't need this. What we could do is something like, uh, we have the socket thing. Shit. I don't, I don't want that. I don't want the same behavior. Um... Okay, let, let's, let's... Because otherwise the other thing is broken and I need to find a good way. So I'm gonna make one server here and I'm probably gonna put it in another package so everybody can import the same server. Uh, I basically initi initialize a new server which is the same logic so we don't um, have this server thing copied. So we're gonna make connections which is gonna be... Uh, websocket com. We're gonna use this uh, anti strikes thingy. New server. How do we do this? Topic symbols and, and yeah, I see. Dilemmas, man. But I want to make it really. I want to make it work uh, in two hours. Actually, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work in two hours. But hey, cons is gonna be uh, make me uh, websocket com uh, with a struct. And the reason why I do this is because a struct uh, some. I already use empty structs to close channels for 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 these for these channels because they don't take any memory and somebody replied on my videos today that you could also use this struct into a map if you instead of a boo and it saves you one byte. Hey. Why not? Hard times. Economical crisis, saving bytes, right? Um Um <laughs> Actually, actually Uh Dark Coin. Hi Anthony. How uh, how you think how long it can take to switch from something like Python to Golang? Not too long. If you're good at Python, you're gonna be good at Go in, in just two weeks or something. 
Um, it's it's it it does not. It, the only thing you're gonna you're gonna basically have maybe some problems with or ha hard to grasp um, in the beginning or interfaces and maybe um, go routines and channels and that stuff. But besides that, um, it's gonna be the same thing. You're gonna uh, maybe you're gonna be a little bit frustrated because in Python you can do cool things like list comprehensions or what is that or all that stuff and and. Uh, a lot of stuff is is more uh, there is more syntactic sugar for all these things, um, and in Golang it's not right. But um, yeah, depends on your current skill level in Python and your grasp of how you can defer, infer programming languages syntax. You're gonna have a good time. Depends on that. Some people can do it in two weeks, some people one week, some people takes, some people will never, you know, let, let us be honest, some people will never learn things, right? Just uh, keep grinding. Type order book, this is so bad. Uh, I'm gonna call this, how can I call this, this channel? I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna call this ask bits, man, fuck it. Uh, it's gonna be a structure, so cold my hands, man. I'm gonna say asks. Uh, entry. Actually, I want pointers. When are you going to run the high value engineering meetup? <laughs> Good question. It's gonna be hard, man. People from all over the world. Water van Os. The most difficult part about being a programmer, naming things. It is, man. It's like, I, I don't know what's going on here. I'm trying to, to name some simple thing and I have no clue. So I'm calling it, it Ask Bits, which is basically um, a tuple or something. A tuple with Ask and Bits. It is what it is. Why is this entry not working? Shit, it's an order book entry, I see. Order book entry. And then we're going to do bits here bits like this um, and uh, basically we're gonna have the traits also later on that we need to change the naming <laughs> hey, problems for later so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make um, Um. <sighs> the thing is, I want to do so many other things with the same with the same Binance uh, WebSocket connection with the, with the same Binance order book, right? So we have this order book. It's running. It's receiving data from Binance in real time. It basically stores everything in a binary in a self balancing binary tree, and it sits there. That's fine. It's getting updated on the fly. It's cool. Everybody is at equilibrium. Everybody is at total synergy. Yin and Yang. With with incredible precision, but. Now I'm thinking, okay, so the first data stream I want is basically, let's say, top 10, top 20, whatever uh, bits asks, right, of the book, depth. With a pre-calculated level entry where the most of the, where the, where the gross of the size is, the biggest one, right? The price level with the biggest uh, total volume. And if we basically aggregate that to another uh, precision, it's going to be the same. Oh, there's always one price level that's going to be the biggest one. And that's, hey, that's going to be the support, right? Quote, quote, it's going to be the gross of the volume. Of course, it can be spoofing orders and, and all that shenanigans that can be deleted on the fly. But it's fine because it's a real-time application. So we're going to also see it real-time on the fly, right? Something like that. Uh, and to be, to be, uh, this is not for 
it's not going to make you rich, right? Keep that in mind. It's all data, data related. It's all for your for your own for your own thing. It doesn't matter. Don't expect that these things are going to make you rich because that that won't happen, right? That's another channel you need to watch. <laughs> Chat GPT, yeah, that's true. Chat GPT three will replace us all soon, and even that struggles with naming. It is. Uh, it will never replace us. People are too optimistic about it. People are too hyped about it. Uh, I'm gonna say you this: it, it it's going to replace the people that think it's it's going to replace them. Like that's exactly the people it's going to replace. And I, I don't think it's going to replace. Because it can never replace me. Ever, ever. It will never. It can. It just can't. Because it is. If you think you're going to get replaced by an AI, you will get replaced by an AI. Right? But um, AI cannot think like we think. And if we, don't, if we need to know something... We can go for these common tasks and we can use chat, chat GPT-3 or, or some other AI to help us, right? Because I use it I'm gonna uh, for writing because I'm the most garbage writer in the world. And uh, it basically comes up with nice, nice sentences, right? Or titles or something that I need or, or, or hero text or whatever, right? That I use in a day-to-day -day basis. But it will, can, it can, an AI cannot make protocols because it's trained on the past so it cannot predict the future and what is your job as an engineer you need to solve problems that's true repetitive tasks from the past that's true you can use ai but your job if you're a real engineer you're a problem solver you're a builder you're a hacker you need to come up with thinking out of the box and make new metas, make new protocols, make new things. And that's what it cannot do. It cannot do that. Uh, unfortunately. Because otherwise then it would replace everybody. And then we're, then we're fucked. But it can't. So... Stop thinking that it's going to replace you. Because if you keep thinking that it's going to replace you, you're going to be replaced. Uh, it will replace a lot of standard web devs. Of course, it will. It will. It, it, that, that's survival of the fittest, guys. Like I always, it's survival of the fittest. It's in life. It's with love. It's with friends. It's with everything in life, right? The weak will get eliminated. It is what it is, and will be left behind. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Um, the weak will will be left behind. There's people complaining. I once in a, I did a, uh, not so long ago, I did a Twitter post. Um, actually, a Twitter promotion ad to get more followers. And, it and there was, um, I was typing, learn blockchain dev. Uh, did you know a blockchain dev can earn uh, around 200k a month? And I get so many people so angry at me. Like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? I only make 40k. I only make 80k. W w lies. There are no lies. You're weak. I'm so sorry. You will get eliminated very soon. It is. It's true. 200 k is, is 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 what it is, guys. It's everywhere on every job forum, on every job posting. It's everywhere. It's it's there. But the the guys are so filthy and so salty because they don't earn it, and they know that they will never earn it because they don't believe in themselves. So you need to believe in yourself and uh, fuck GPT-3 in the ass. Slap, slap his cheeks. Because you're abusing him. Senior <laughs> operator. <laughs> Who is this? Mionia. New titles are coming. Senior EA operator. It's, it, that's amazing. That's the best one. I'm gonna... Actually, I'm gonna copy-paste this, to be honest. And... Uh, let me wait. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this too. <laughs> this guy. What is? What's happening? What do you see? What happened here? I just took a screenshot. Maybe the whole the whole stream is broken. 
<laughs> let me go let me go to my to my uh to the discord to discord channel i'm gonna post it as a meme like this mihon yeah you're basically in the meme channel of uh of my of my discord because it's so funny don't sound fell simply check Hey, all right. Guys, sometimes you need to be confident, guys, and don't don't be arrogant, but be confident. And hey, who who can who is from who is this quote? Some people call it arrogance. I call it confidence. From who is that quote? Who is the first that can actually say can respond in chat? Who did say that quote? <laughs> I value AI operator. Ay, ay, ay. Um, data channel. That's going to be a channel of ask bits. But uh, the world is going, like I said, man, I was thinking a lot lately uh, about the world and where it's evolving to, and it's nasty. Uh, it's nasty. But hey, we will see. But not in an, in, an, in an AI thing. It's more of a of a controlled environment. Controlled a controlled environment we are gonna live in, where uh, right now we have opportunities to basically. Um, <laughs> I would I, 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 what I want to say is escape the matrix, but hey, I don't want to sound like Andrew Tate, right? Um, but not escape the matrix. But there are some opportunities to basically try to fill find try to find some um, escape pads right some you know every all these businesses what they are doing if you make a lot of money they all they do a lot of dirty tricks right to um, tax evasion and all that stuff and all these constrictions right if you if you start making some money you need to pay a lot of taxes but if you have a lot of money you can do all these cool stuff so you can evade taxes it's, it's basically legal right but the world is evolving in a in a um, in a more controlled environment where these things cannot happen anymore and what's going to happen is that uh, the people that are tr finding a way to escape to basically make a lot of money to get some wealth that uh the size of that club the pool of that kind of fish is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller so basically what i'm thinking is that um yeah it's gonna be bad it's gonna be bad because they're gonna less the power will be in in less hands lesser hands which is so bad you work as a blockchain dev uh not anymore not anymore not anymore actually um i worked as a blockchain dev here yeah, for a couple of years And I worked at exchanges and all that stuff. And um, then I started my own company. I started a lot of companies, but they all fucking did, did go nowhere. And, um, and they did go nowhere because of uh, very important lessons. And we can talk about that later on if you want. Um, but yeah, but there's cool stuff coming up. If you keep following me, subscribe to my channel, join the Discord and all that stuff. Um, I'm, I'm gonna have excited some some cool news soon soon news soon hold on okay come on let's go here what are we doing data channel ask bits that's fine worker do we need to make this thing uh, here data channel that's not good uh, channel of uh, ask bits that's fine just like that gonna pipe in um, and ask bits thingy actually whoa, whoa, whoa what are they doing no 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 here really curious how your companies failed and what kind of lessons you learned um, companies failed a couple things first of all um, 
waiting too long to go to market, thinking that you need to do a lot of stuff, listening too much to people, listening too much to um, all these gurus, all these podcasts. <laughs> it's like I said, I'm, I'm going to say very controversial things, not controversial, like weird things. But um, I think it's easy to say for, for podcasts, for people that are in a wealthy, that have a wealthy business, easy to say how they did it. It's very easy to say. But listening to these, I think people right now are even for coding, even for coding. That's why I want to, I'm trying to teach you in a complete other way than, than most of, most of the, of the thing. Just do. Uh, I'm trying to, to teach you stuff completely different. Um, but the thing is, if you listen to all these podcasts, like, uh, for example, uh, My First Million uh, and, all, and all that stuff, all these podcasts where all these uh, successful business entrepreneurs or tech entrepreneurs are talking about how they made money and it's all good and you watch that and you get so motivated. Like, wow, these guys are making so much cool stuff. And what's going to happen is that you're going to um, take too much of their advice and try to replicate their behavior uh, force you're gonna force yourself into replicating their behavior which will eventually will not turn out that fast for you and you will give up um, it's the same with programming I could give you a lot of tips and advice about programming but by the end of the day it's something you need to experience yourself and um, I did. I listened to a lot of people, a lot of mentors, so to say, in my own environment, my own country, like successful business entrepreneurs, which I think in Belgium, I don't know, I, I, I don't like uh, the mindset. It's the LinkedIn mindset here, and I hate it, the LinkedIn mindset, so fucking get away from that platform as soon as possible. But um, it's like LinkedIn, right? They give all, your, all these tips and tricks, and you need to do this, and you need to do that, but by the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. It only starts working out for me the moment I just don't listen to any any of these podcasts anymore. I don't care about all these uh, people telling me advices when you should do this and you should take cold showers and then you need to wake up early and then you need to um, go each time on Twitter and you need to do this and marketing that and this and Notion and fuck you. I do, I do my thing right now. Just what I think is good with some lessons I learned personally from failing. And from messing around, right, from my channel. Also, like, uh, people are trying to get 1,000 subscribers. And after a year or after six months, they don't get even 600 YouTube subscribers. And they come to the Reddit forum and they ask, or they listen to all these YouTube videos uh, that claiming how you need to get 1,000 subscribers very fast. And you try all these, these um, tips and tricks they give you, but they don't work. And the moment I just say fuck you to everybody, to everybody and just do my own thing. I started to experiment myself and just see what works for me and what didn't work for me and just by my own experience. And now I have 3,000, almost 4,000 subscribers in two months, two months and a half maybe. How do I did it? I have no clue. Just being myself and um, yeah, if it, if it, yeah. The same thing with business. The same with business. It's the same with gaming. Right? A lot of these gamers, they watch pros because they want to be good at League of Legends. They want to be good at Counter-Strike or whatever game or Valorant or all these competitive games. And they are basically too focused watching these streams and copying the behavior. Coaching. You need to do this. Watch out for that grenade. You need to do, uh, you need to CS more. You don't, don't do that. Play and never watch these guys and do your own thing and figure it out yourself right figure it out yourself that's the best tip i could give you um there is no secret sauce like uh, uh mike mike says um i'm 36 and and i did so much things in my life and and nothing really worked out it is what it is um un until until lately until um uh, until i realized that basically the, the world is a scam and everybody is trying to sell you something Literally everybody, everybody who is telling you a story that's too good, that's true. Every, everybody that's telling you a story that's so good is selling you something sooner or later. The same with me. Because by the end of the day, I also have a Patreon page where you need to pay me 10 or 20 euros a month. 
to watch some exclusive content. By the end of the day, that's what you need to learn. Life is all about taking money from people uh, and promising them, not promising them, it's like trying to fit that narrative. It's very nasty, man. And it's actually not, not that long that I that I basically came, came realized this. Not that long. And I can't blame them, right? I can't blame these guys, right? Uh, it is what it is. Figure it out, man. Fuck around. And uh, listen to yourself. Learn, learn yourself. That's the best. <clears throat> Lazar, very true. Podcasts are fun, but you are only interviews. 1% startups. Yes, it's only showing the good sides. Lady discusses what failed and so on and so on. It's true. What failed, what also failed for me is uh, co-founders. Co-founders, problem. Never. Don't. Uh, a co-founder is somebody. It's it's a co-founder is is like a marriage. You're married with that guy or girl. And by the end of the day, and it's very important, and that's something that I experienced a, a lot. By the end of the day, it does not matter who it is. It can be your friend. I hope I hope not your parents. I think some parents maybe, but. It's going to be very hard what I'm going to tell you. But by the end of the day, your friends, colleagues, co-founders, girlfriend, boyfriend, family, they will stab you in the back when the time comes that they need to do it. Never, never, never ever emotionally attach you to somebody or something. It's going to save you a lot of haddishes. It's very hard, but uh, I learned it. I learned it mo multiple times, actually. <laughs> multiple times. So, uh, this is what it is. Man, we are not coding. What's going on? Uh, hi, Anthony. I heard that Gorilla Mux get the repo has been archived. Yeah, man. It's it's bad. Yeah. I use Gorilla, Gorilla for a lot of things in my projects, and I think a lot of people in production also. So, it's going to be not quite sure what they're going to do. People need to fork. I already have a fork, but yeah. Just for the sake of. You got in trouble with your better half? Right? Yeah, of course I got in trouble. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm single. I, I have a girlfriend right now, right? Um, but we don't live together. And it's all going good because we have a very strict set of rules, right? But um, yeah, I have two kids with, uh, with my ex-wife. Uh, which we are together for eight years, right? And at a certain point of time, uh, you will <laughs> you will have the same thing. Nobody's going to stay forever together. That's impossible. Uh, from the first time, it's impossible, I think, because you didn't agree on a set of rules. That's very important in a relationship. Because you cannot maintain the respect you have from your partner if you... You need to learn that by heartbreak, right? And um, so yeah, if 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 you if you live in a in a world where you say to yourself, "I love you," and I will never leave you, and I will never, uh, and if, uh, you're you're the one, f the 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 girl of my life, and then she telling you the same, and at a certain point of time, boom, the relationship relationship fails for some reason, whatever it may be. That's the first big trust issue you will have in your life. And um, yeah. Yeah, it is what it is. Also, I, I, made, my, I made my mistakes myself, right? Um, I was working a lot, uh, which is needed if you want to learn a lot of stuff. If you want to get somewhere in life, right? You don't need to be, like I said before, you don't need to be rich. You don't need to be filthy rich. I think the Andrew Tate... Um, world is is. I think uh, both sides of the spectrum are basically is not too good to be in, right? You could too poor is not good, but too rich is also not good, right? And I always uh, people ask me like, I always telling them like, if it makes sense by the end of the day, by the end of the day, it doesn't make if it makes sense for you, it does not need to make sense for anybody else, right? 
it's all um it's all about personal dreams and personal goals some people are happy with their life they 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 just go to work and they come home and they play games and that's perfectly fine if that if 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 you're if you're if that's your goal if that makes you happy if that's the the purpose of your life then it's all fucking good man you don't need to uh how do you say that? You don't need to protect yourself or, or, or something from from um, from playing games all the time. If you're happy with your life, it's good. But if you have dreams and passions and visions, like I wanna I wanna have this or I wanna become this, and then you play games, that's that's wrong, right? Because it, it that does not fit your your goals, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> if it makes sense for you, it's fine. If you're happy, it's good. I'm not happy. Well, I'm happy, but I have some I have some goals to crush, man. Some fucking goals to crush, and I will do it. All right. So, what are we doing, man? What is this? Is this the the money channel or something? What's going on? Okay. So we have this this thingy. Ask bits, and then we're gonna say uh, best ask. Okay, 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 okay. I see, I see, I see, I see. Pointers, eh? Why do we do that? Shit, it's in a... Um, order book. New book. Where are the, uh, limits, 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 limits. Uh, we're gonna say pointers to these things actually because we're gonna put them into a channel and all that stuff and um, Memory memory memory. It's all memory um, Okay Good good like this and then it's fine. We don't need. We're not gonna print this. Can connect with your Discord account, sir. Um, how? Can you? What's going on? Tell me what's going on, so I can help you. Not quite sure why. Normally, you could just click the link in the description. If all good. I hope so. Best bits. Uh, and that's going to be the best bits here. Put it in the channel. Yeah, the server I know. Um... And that's what I also want to do more on, uh, I think, I, I sometimes do, do it in my Discord channel, in the motivational. I, I, I make some some these, these kind of a vlogs where I'm in the car most of the time because in a car you have nothing to do. So I film myself and I I talk uh, about some, some stuff that happened or something in my life. Um, if, I, if, I have a, if I had a bad day or something, I just say it, right? I'm just making a movie, uh, making a vlog that I had a bad day and I tell about it. Um, because I think a lot of problem with mental health is because the perspective, the perspective of life is too beautiful. Right? Because you, you you see me here streaming and it's fine and I'm energetic and I'm coding and it's 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 all it's good it it all seems nice, right? And I go to the gym and I'm jacked and oh this guy in a nice car whatever he's 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 it but it's not true, that's the, your perspective. That's that's the the on the other side of the camera you see this. Of course I'm not gonna cry here, right? <laughs> you know what I mean. But 
so you're watching TikTok and you're watching all these, these, these social media channels and then you see all your friends and most of the time everybody's going to be happy and it's going to be uh, a facade of happiness. And then you think by yourself, damn, everybody's so happy. Everybody is, is, is on a roll. But I'm here smoking weed, being, ang having, uh, being anxious, being depressed. I want to learn a language, but I can't. I, I, I'm not motivated. What's going on? Why is that? I will never be this. I will never be that. Look at this. I can't see myself in the mirror because I have hang tits. Man, my life is so bad. And you get in a vicious spiral. In a downward spiral and you smoke more and you drink. Right? And you, make, you break up with your girl because you're a fucking loser. Of course she breaks up with you. What do you think? Right? And how, do, how are you a bad guy or a girl? No, of course not. Are you a loser? Of course not. But it's because... The world makes you assume you're a loser. Not that they're telling you that, but it's like, it seems that it's, ever, it's happiness everywhere and everybody's doing a good job besides you. Right? That's a problem. Most of the time, I'm not happy, right? Most of the time, most of the time, I'm, I'm, I'm having some, some, some stuff that I need to do that I don't want to do. You know what I mean? Sometimes I wake up, ah shit, I need to do this, I need to do that, I need to do this, and kids from school, kids from this, kids to the football, kids this, kids that, kids blah blah blah, cook this, cook dinner, cook that, clean this, clean this, clean that, you know what I mean? It's fucked up. So most of the time, I don't feel, in my, it's not right in my head, you know what I mean? It is, but you need to, you need to be conscious about that, you need to make a, you need to, if you know, if you know by yourself that this is normal and everybody has the same thing, it's fine, right? Because after it, it goes away because when every, all these, these talks are complete, it's fine. You know what I mean? You just need to hold on and just, it's a pain you need to take. There is no, there is, you cannot numb it. Don't numb it with wheat. Don't numb it with, uh, don't doing it. For example, a lot of people are basically uh, running from their responsibilities, which cause them more trouble, right? It is what it is. It's everyone, man. Every fucking one. Every single motherfucker on earth have the same problems. You know what I mean? Money. Bitches. Can I say this, actually? Money. Woman. Woman are nice, by the way. But, hey. <laughs> Money. Woman. And relationships in general. Business. Maybe. Maybe money is business. But... We all have the three same problems, man. That's what it is. It's the it's the, the the few that can take the pain and buy through it that succeed, man. Survival of the fittest. All the rest are weak. And I was weak too, man. I was weak too. For a for a for a long period of time. Um <clears throat> check my check my check my uh TikTok. And you will see. You will see the biggest comeback in history on TikTok. Damn, I'm so confused now. It's so hard to basically talk and think and then I need to pick up where I left off in this code, man. It's crazy. Uh, if you think, uh, if you check my TikTok because a lot of people will say, yeah, you can, it's it's an act or you're you're doing this or you're, it's easier to say. <laughs> no, it's not easy to say. I came, I came like, hey, check my TikTok and I uh, sit down. That will inspire you. Let me share it. Let me share my TikTok. I don't care actually. If... What are you gonna do? Um, how can I? I don't know my TikTok. It's 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 on the Discord channel somewhere. Uh, the TikTok video is on my Discord somewhere in um, in motivation. Check it out there. 
and you can see the biggest transformation in history. Um, okay, so. Okay, we were filling this channel. Fine. That's good. Then. Where do I... Where is this channel coming from? That's bad, right? So I don't want this channel to be in the worker. Um, to be honest. This data channel, I don't want this. Because I, I want to play with it. Uh, data channel is going to be a channel of ask bits, right? Should I re-upload that video of yours? They just please place the link somewhere in Discord. Place the place that link somewhere in the in the in the top in the top motivation motivation channel of Discord. So people that wanna that wanna see that, they need to go to Discord first. <laughs> ah. Um, because I'm very open, man. I don't care. Docs, not docs. What you gonna do? You come here and I, uh, it's not gonna be your best day. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that. Uh, but it doesn't matter because it, 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 it's fine. It's fine. I don't care. Okay, channel, 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 channel. Here we're gonna make it here. We're gonna say that the uh, data channel. Man, I'm so cold. Uh, Chen of um, Data Chen. Ask bits. It's crazy, man. My hands are so cold, I can't type anymore. I think my keyboard also. My G key is fucked up. Ask bits. Amir, what is up, man? Is order book deployed? Order book is coming from Binance. Uh, Daniel, Daniel, where are you from? Belgium. Belgium's finest. I see. I make a typo here. It's gonna be Amir. What is up, man? Tomorrow, big day for you, Amir. Today it's messy. Tomorrow it's uh, Kilian. Yes. Jet, what up, man? Uh, worker data chain. Yada, yada, yada. That's fine. And I'm going to actually loop over this um, stupid data channel. Real quick here. Um, just to check. And then we're going to send that. And then we have the data channel. Then we're going to put that data channel into our server so we can actually uh, fetch data from it and send it over web sockets and call it a day. Set margaritas on the beach. Oh, man. Uh, De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne. I don't know, man. He looks like... I don't know. He looks 16. He's good, but... He's not of the of the level of um, of, of 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 others, right? I think Courtois or or goalkeeper, that's world class. That's a world class keeper. But the players, uh, is this gonna work? In the cold, no man. It's like it's just so cold here. It's minus five degrees, and um, the heat is. I think it's eighteen degrees. I, the problem is if I stream and I put it at 20 degrees, it's going to get so warm here and I'm going to get these panning attacks. Um, but now I basically fucked myself. Oh, it's too cold, actually. Yeah, so it's going to be pointers, right? So it's going uh, to... It's going gonna, it's gonna to give us this list of pointers. It is what it is. Yeah. Very fast, actually. What's going on? Oh, I see what's going on. Uh, let me also buffer this channel real quick, also. 
Um. Yeah, okay, I see what's going on. So the problem is actually... Um, so we get we get basically um, the WebSocket event each 100 millis, right? That's not 100 millis, it's less. But I don't know why they call it 100 millis, but it is what it is. Um, but then we are basically uh, looping here over the order book at uh, faster than the WebSocket stream can give us data, which will basically result in duplicated shenanigans, right? Um, a couple things that we can do, or we basically remove this loop. You had fever, Amir. I know. Yo, I, th I, th I, th I thought you already told me that you were sick or something. If I can remember. <laughs> no, the high value engineers code in the cult as if they were in the beach sipping my ideas. It is, it is. But like I said, it's hard to type. If my hands are cold, I cannot type that well because I don't know what it is. It's like... Sometimes when I... The best, hey, the best time to type is when I came, when I come out of the sh uh, 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 the shower. Man. Fire coming out. It's, all my muscles are basically relaxed from the heat. Because I'm, I'm a heat shower, right? So I put it in the middle. And then each five minutes, I basically warmer and warmer and warmer. Even um, past uh, the the child safety click, right? The, the 38 degrees and then 40 degrees, 42 until it's so burning, man. Everything is red, but it's cool. It's good for the muscles. But it makes you lazy as fuck, that's true. What you also could do is basically do it here in this handler and uh, do the calculation here. But the problem is that um, yeah, I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna do it here. Uh, it's, it's also more efficient. Um, actually, I can do it like here. Uh, book. I'm hungry. What's going on? Book. Bits. Get best 10. Where's this song, man? <laughs> What's going on? Uh, let's join this one. Paste it in here. All fine, all good. Did we do some checks with the length? Yeah, here. I'm gonna do it, actually. For the... Damn, that's why we did it. Uh, we first need to check because otherwise we're gonna run into um, panics, no point of dereferences, right? So what we're gonna do is, um, it's not continue, we're gonna return here, actually. Yeah. Uh, book asks, we're gonna do bits here. Uh, bits, boom, boom, boom. Bits. What am I doing? Bits here? Asks. No. I was thinking about the music. And Patreon, what uh, we have extra? Well, and Patreon, you have... Um, you have basically... 17 episodes. My alarm. 
So basically, and Patreon is where I put these series, right? So normally I did these series uh, on YouTube, but I stopped with it. I just make these small videos on YouTube and I stream from time to time. That's what I do on YouTube. But on Patreon, I'm making these, uh, also do some quant trading stuff where I'm building this thing uh, more focused, right? Because you can see the stream is not a focused stream. But that's normally, right? Because I stream uh, to connect with you guys, right? To answer questions and to connect and to do to be a moron, right? To do some, some shenanigans with you guys, right? So, it's not focused. Because then I need to, a question here, question there, and then we talk about um, about live and all that stuff, right? But on, 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 on Patreon, it's more focused, right? If I do these these uh, these session, sessions. And I also have like uh, 17 episodes of a decentralized distributed file storage where you're going to learn about um, streaming large data and all that stuff. Um, Decentralized, distributed, 17 episodes. I'm also building the new blockchain there. The new blockchain episodes are all on Patreon, exclusive on Patreon. A couple, I think one or two, I, did, I placed on YouTube for marketing reasons, right? Because how am I going to get Patre people onto my Patreon if they don't know that it exists? And then I'm going to also make uh, a microservice uh, episodes where we're going to create multiple microservices, connect them with... Uh, communicate with each other. We're going to make a gateway, rate limiting, uh, circuit breaking, MongoDB, Docker, gRPC, Prometheus, all that stuff. Maybe Kafka or something. Hush! Kafka. Something like that. You know what I mean? I don't like to do it, but hey. That's what I need to do. I need, I need to play that game. That's on Patreon. And uh, also, the high value engineers, the high value tier, the $20 tier. Uh, each month you can... Normally, I would give you an, ass an assignment. But uh, this month, everybody could choose his project, what he's going to make. It could be something that he's already making. It could be something that you want to make. And by the end of the month, we're going to do a special live stream on Patreon. Where I'm going to review... Uh, with everybody. Where I'm going to review all that code and give you hints and tips refactor it something like that um because normally i would give you i would give everybody the same assignment but the problem is some people are interested in trading some people are interested in microservices some people want to do blockchain some people i don't know right so it's hard and i want to have as much people to attend that as possible all right and i'm also uh, if you want i'm also reviewing your cv which is basically delete everything Delete every junior keyword out of your CV. And uh, replace engineer with problem solver. Damn, I wish I did more, man. I, but we are we are so off track, man. We are so off track with all this. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not focused. Why do we use WSL? Because I'm on Windows. Uh, hey, Amir. <laughs> How many times did you see me coding? How many times are you were in a, in a session? And now you're going to ask this question. Uh, NFT Marketplace. And have me. All right, okay, focus three, two, one, let's go. I think we're done. That's cool. So the handler is here, and then we're gonna, this loop, we're gonna delete this guy. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Loop. Where? Here. And then we're going to connect the web circuit and then it's going to be okay-ish. Okay, so now we have a decent rate, right? Now we have the rate as it comes in, all the bits and ask. Good. 
Anthony GG, what advice would you give to someone like me who wants to transition from being a front-end dev? They usually reject me since they see my current job in React Next and not go. Uh, yeah, that's a classical thing, man. Uh, don't worry about the industry. It's, um, yeah. Even though I like my own project as well. Yeah, it is what it is. Uh, that's the problem with the current industry. People have no clue how to hire. That's the problem, right? Because you need to know that uh, by the end of the day, right? The people that are trying to hire you, right? These lead devs, these, these CTOs, they are also just trash some most of the time, right? You know what I mean? It is what it is. It's not because they are five years of experience or 10 years of experience or 15 years of experience. You can even have 40 years of experience. I have three times coding hours as people from 60, 70 years old. This is what it is. I'm 100%, I'm 100% sure it is. At least, at least double the, double the hours. Double the hours, double the, triple the projects, double the programming languages. That's what it's all about. Experience in a job doesn't say anything. It's all about putting in the hours, right? You work eight hours a day, I do 16. You work five out of seven, I work seven out of seven. 360, the whole fucking year. It is what it is. Um... So that you need, need to realize, uh, Mion, that the guys that are trying to recruit you, that the guy you're basically trying to interview you, most of the time are also just garbage people and they want to feel interesting and they're going to focus themselves on um, years of experience and what you already did as in, in a production environment, right? And you did not, you, you, you didn't write any go in a production environment, so they're going to say, hey, get them out of here. But they don't realize... What these guys, these idiots, don't realize is that you are so fucking motivated. Already no go. Are you a specialist? Probably not. That doesn't really matter, right? Because you will be very soon. But you're motivated. You know everything about APIs and you know the drill. It's just go. It's just it's just a syntax, right? That they, they don't think about that. They don't think about that you basically maybe maybe in your free time are going to do some, some extra work uh, because you love to do your job. Maybe they don't know that. Maybe you are the guy that stays at Friday evening because something is not done and something is deployed and you want to stay for an hour extra to see if everything is okay. So you can hop in if needed when everybody is actually home sipping, playing Call of Duty 3 drinking beer and popping the Pringles under the blanket with their cozy GF. You know what I mean? Overweight. But you, you, you are still there. But he doesn't know that. That's the problem, right? That's the problem with these people. How can they know that is to talk to you first, to work with you first, right? They could, they could, they could easily spend with you two, three weeks in a job and pay you for that two, three weeks. Maybe they pay you a little bit less. I don't know, I wouldn't do that. I would just give you the complete market conform salary and work with you for three, two, two, three weeks to see how we get along, how we work, how you learn, and that's it. And then we can decide what's going on. You know what I mean? But that th these guys don't do that because they're trash and you can tell them that perfectly fine. Go for it, follow the next one, go to the next one. Tell them that they're trash, do it. Send them a mail. PHP Laravel, so it's the same backend is backend, right? Coding is coding. If I code in Java, JavaScript, uh, Python, Golang, Rust, C++, C, it's all the same thing. You do, you assign variables, you loop, you print, you you write, you read, you have buffers of arrays, uh, you have buffers of bytes, it's all the same thing. It's no difference. Okay, some languages are functional and it's a, a little bit of an other mindset, right? But it's it's another mindset. But by the end of the day, we're all going to make an API. In, in your case, you're going to make an API or a web backend. Um, and it's going to do the same thing. You're going to authenticate the user. You're going to store some values in the database. You're going to retrieve it from a database. You're going to... Um, hey. I don't understand how people recruit, man. And if... If you're a if you're if you're a CTO, I'm a CTO myself. 
uh, if you're a CTO, if you're a lead dev, if you're the HR, please send me a mail. Send me a mail and I will teach you how to hire the best. Not by CV and not by experience. I talk with this guy. I, I hired Terry. I hired Terry from the community. I hired him like that. I talk with him for 30 to 40 minutes and we chit chat. And I can see if it's going to work out, yes or no. You don't need to be have any experience. It doesn't. I don't care. You can come from jail. I don't give a shit where you come from. A, lo a lot of other uh, companies do the same. But the most, they don't. The most are basically, yeah, I don't know. The same people like the most of them, right? These companies, they are run by the same people like the majority of the people here on Earth. They hate their job. They come home. They hate their fucking life because their partner is fucked up. They're constantly mowing and yada yada and their life is just a big depression. You know what I mean? Not everyone, but the most. So, hey, it's your time to get out of that shit, man. Get out of that shithole. Live a sink. Do something with your life, man. But uh, you need to keep trying. It's the same. My story is the same thing. Uh, in the beginning, I swear to God, I was basically fired everywhere I came. I lied myself into every job. Uh, almost. In the beginning, when I was young, I lied myself into every fucking job position. And I figured it out on the fly. This is what it is. Who's gonna hire? Hi, hi, my name is Anthony. Right, I'm 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 24. I did some Magento PHP development. I uh, actually have no degree, but I played Counter Strike when I was 16, and we are basically uh, already programming sites in PHP. But hey, I have no I have no experience yet. But I can I hey I know jQuery. Who's gonna hire me? Nobody. Exactly. So, what I did was I started creating in my free time. Uh, it was it wasn't a lot of it was a symphony. <laughs> does does it exist still? Symphony, man. The symphony components, man. It was crazy. So I created my own uh, e-commerce platform, open source e-commerce platform that basically nobody uses, right? Uh, it had one star. And it was mine <laughs> on GitHub. So uh, I created that and, and, and I, yeah, I just learned all that stuff. And I said, yeah, look at this. This is what I made, right? And they say, what the hell? This is, this is cool. This is actually cool. Uh, so yeah, that's when my first uh, job uh, came true by, by doing all these projects and being very confident and uh, giving zero fucks. And if they don't like you, then you just... One company, I remember back in my country, one company hired me because I was over uh, selling myself too good, right? Because I actually was a scrub back in the day. And they hired me because they, I can market myself as the best. You can see that, right? You need to learn that. And uh, they hired me, but I was so trash. These guys were doing all that stuff. And um, I needed to make, it, it was, I needed to make a Facebook, um, a Facebook app in PHP. I remember that. And uh, it was something with a dog, so you could you had a frame, and you could upload a you, you could upload a picture of your dog, and it would place that into that frame or something. And and I couldn't figure it out, man, with the file size and all that shit. <laughs> what was going on? And they fucking fired me because I was a loser. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, I I couldn't blame him to be honest, man. I was so stressed. Uh, I was basically an imposter. Not gonna lie. Hey, but I learned. <laughs> oh. Uh, I was driving the mini, <laughs> the mini Cooper. <laughs> Woo! Thanks for that, uh, Stars in Belgium. I think they are already bankrupt also after all these years. Oh. I was driving a nice mini Cooper, and the, the funny part was that I was <laughs> my, my driver license was basically taken off from the police because I had a speed ticket. So my wife, my ex-wife, needed to um, <laughs> drive the, with the mini and put me off at the job and all that stuff. It was so crazy, man. My life is insane. Oh. <sighs> Oh, man, man, man. And I, I basically got fired in a lot of jobs, right? Because I was... I sold myself too good. But I kept learning and learning and learning. Man, hey, what do you need to do, man? Hey, I need to pay the bills also, right? But by the end of the day, man, um, 
you get experience and experience and I was keep grinding uh, in my free time and eventually it, it worked out, right? <laughs> and I can tell you so many things, but you can, you're, I, I cannot tell them because you're not going to believe me. That's the problem. That's the problem of my life. I cannot tell, I cannot tell you these stories because they are so weird and so cool that you're not going to believe it. It's what it is. So I'm going to tell them. Maybe, maybe soon, if you subscribe. Maybe at, how many, maybe at 4,000, at 4K subscribers, actually. That's the goal for this year. H how many are we? Because, listen, it's very important. If you make your CV your, uh, for an interview, make it too good to be true. Because if you say you're gonna, if you if you write, I'm I'm a genius, I'm a genius script, they're not gonna hire you, right? And if you make a side project, make it count, right? Make it fucking count. That's very important. Don't come with a simple, uh, come come with something cool. Make it count. That's very important. Also for me, I remember. Let me find it, actually. Uh, I'm going to find it on GitHub. I think it's on GitHub, right? So I did a, a couple years ago. I um, did an interview with a blockchain company. Was it Tendermint? Tendermint or Cosmos SDK. Um, and I did an... I did an uh, let me find it real quick. And I needed to do an assignment, and uh, they didn't hire me based on that assignment. <laughs> it is what it is. Sometimes, hey, you see, I'm a lying man. Uh, they, they they rejected me. I don't know why. I think I over-engineered it a little bit, a little bit too much, to be honest. But hey, Alien Invasion, I can I can have it. Here. 2019, actually. I don't know what the assignment was actually. I will, I will show with you, right? So this was basically an assignment and they basically, uh, they said, no, I don't need you. <laughs> the losers. They don't understand that I'm making these blockchains single-handedly, single-handedly making these blockchains. But they didn't hire me. Hey, that's their problem, not mine, right? They could have, they, they could replace four engineers with me or two, at least, but they didn't take the chance. So basically, uh, it was something, a simulation on how aliens could, <laughs> a simulation, you could see how what a fucking dork I am, right? Uh, a simulation on how aliens could invade planets and destroy kingdoms written in gold language. Look, look at this, look at me, the over-engineering, look at the over-engineering of this simulation. And I think, it, uh, I, I'm not quite sure what the assi assignment was. Maybe that's already the problem. But you needed to make a simulation about cities and um, uh, some kind of a list with, with, with these uh, directions here. How do you call this? This east, north, south. How do you call that? Um, these directions. And it... I don't, I don't remember anymore. Anyway, it's it's it, it was it was amazing. I, I spent a lot of time on it, right? I spent a lot of time on it, and I wanted to make it look cool. Wait, it's the data here. I think they gave me some data. World, right? So this is the, this is what they give. No, it's not. It's it's what I made up myself. Anyway, so I needed to do something like that, and um, I made it a nice simulation, but I made it like with a ticker and an interval and, and all that stuff, and, and I don't know, man. So can you imagine they 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 they're needing they are, they they are looking for a blockchain engineer and they are making they letting they they are making me do this. They they are making me to do this, which is it's perfectly written, right? What's going on with this? It's main. Look at this, it's it's perfectly written. It 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 has a test, uh, idiomatic go, uh, all that stuff. Perfect tests. Look at this. How clean is this written, man? But they, they didn't 
they, they, they just said, uh, sorry, uh, we're not gonna, you know, this, the, the classic email you get from these motherfuckers, right? The classic email you get from these motherfucking HR people. I'm so sorry, but you are not going, uh, yada, 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 uh, uh, you see? But they're looking for a blockchain dev and they, 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 they're making me do this one. Which has nothing to do with cryptographical stuff, nothing to do with consensus algorithms, not with blocks, transactions, not the whole shebang, nothing. It's it's about, I don't know, aliens gonna invade the space. And they and they don't gonna hire me. Even though I worked for all these companies, Chainsafe, Nash, Neo Blockchain, I want bounties. First place bounty winners, 50 fucking G's in the fucking bank. But they don't want it. So don't be the, hey, 2019, eh, my man, 2019, it's not, not that long ago. So don't be disappointed if you get a rejection uh, from your uh, interview. Because the only problem is they have a problem, not you. Nobody can take over Ogrimar. <laughs> well, Amir, I think that was a problem. I think they didn't like World of Warcraft. They saw they saw this guy's playing too much games. He's not high value. Man, I was trading the auction house since I was a since I was since I was rescuing wolves. You know what I mean? I was basically calculating the order books at the at the auction house. At the black market. Look at these comments everywhere, man. This is this is so fucking clean. This is so clean, but it's over-engineered. Hey, it's over-engineered. It's basically this guy. Is what the hell is this guy doing? He's he's too good. He's, this guy is too good. We cannot hire him. We cannot pay him. You know what I mean? Val, look at this. This is so. I'm gonna cry because it's so beautiful. I, even as of today, I never write this this beautiful quote anymore. <laughs> the, the 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 older I become, the less beautiful quote I write. The less I over engineer. I make things lean and mean because that's the only way to come to to something. Uh, you don't like frontend that much. I think frontend is a superpower, right? I can write frontend and and backend. Of course, in the frontend, I'm I'm gonna have some some problems uh, because I don't know. I'm not an expert, but I can make beautiful frontends for sure. Uh, I think you need to know everything, right? You need to know frontend, backend, and everything. But not, not not specialized, but you need to know it, right? Because uh, if I need to make a website, let's say I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a new company and I, need to, I can do everything myself, but legit everything. I can make a beautiful website. I can make a backend. I can make tooling. I can, make, I can do the DevOps. I can do everything myself. I can sell myself. I can market myself. So basically, I'm a one-man army and I don't need anybody else, which basically means that everything is in my control. And... Um, Nobody can stab me in the back and I don't need to share any pieces of the pie. You know what I mean? And um, cons consensus great shit. Yeah, this man. I did. Uh, let me let me show you where it is actually. Uh, here, HBBFT. This was my uh, my thingy. So it's I uh, basically. Text not found. Yeah, yeah, it is what it is. HBBFT. This was this was nice, man. So basically, um, HBBFT was 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 just a, a paper. It was just back in the day. It was a white paper, and uh, the Neo blockchain at some want to investigate, want to do a research about uh, the Neo blockchain still exists. It was back in the day. It was top top ten coins, top five actually, I think. But now it's basically shitcoin, right? Um, but um, yeah, and they, they, they basically did a bounty uh, for people that could actually implement and test uh, one of the top consensus 
algorithms uh, with the highest TPS and, and resilience and yada yada yada. And I choose uh, HBBFT, the hardest one of them all, because it, uh, it, this is basically, it has uh, one, two, three, it has f actually five protocols, but I'm missing one, but it doesn't matter. Uh, so it has the re Reliable Broadcast Protocol, RBC, B Binary Byzantine Agreement, the BBA, the Asynchronous Common Subset, ECS, and the Honey Badger itself, which is the top protocol. So it's basically uh, four, four algorithms you are doing at the same time. Uh, and that's basically all these four together, actually five. Uh, but uh, never mind. These four together, they make Honey Badger. And I, I implemented the whole shebang, man. From a paper. Uh, it's huge. Okay, go check it out. It's huge. It's it's crazy. It's it, it's in my opinion, this is the best thing I ever made in Go. Uh, the most complex, but like the poker engine is also complex. But this is actually tested, and it works. It's insane. I'm so fucking proud on this. Um, it's all documented. It's all written by me. I think there are some people uh, doing some some pull requests. One one people. A go routine leak or something. Hey, <laughs> hey, you know what I mean. But this is is insane, right? And uh, to be honest, I the only thing I need to do to get hired is send this. I mean, this is so good. This 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 is really good. Check it out, guys. This is really good. Uh, it's it's uh, it's five years ago, right? And I was already writing this this uh, level of Go. So if I say that I'm already writing 10 years of Go, probably I'm the oldest Go writer. I think you can find a handful of people like me. I was there from, from the beta, imp uh, writing Go on a day-to-day on -day basis from the beta 10 years ago, 9 years ago, for sure. Um, 9 years ago, I think. It's, it's crazy, man. I, I, if I need to do it, redo it again, it's, it's gonna take me uh, a very, very long time once again. I did it in three days. I'm proud of myself, I'm gonna lie. Why is this? Yeah, special commits, but it's me. It's me for sure, my man. <laughs> the alien invasion pick is like hard at install. It is, man. It is. Oh man. All right, guys. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Like I said, today was a little bit of an unfocused stream, but it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I said, my main goal. If you want to learn, uh, the videos I'm posting on YouTube are very focused, and you're gonna learn a lot of that. These streams, you're probably also gonna learn of that. But um, this is more to be here to show my face to connect with you guys, to give you some inspiration. That's actually my only thing I want to do, is to motivate you guys, give you some inspiration, because like I said, I'm, <laughs> I'm just a fucking moron. Hang on. Hey, trust me. I am, there's nothing special on me. Legit nothing. The only thing I have is a very, uh, I have, my power of will is from an insane um, caliber. My, I'm, I'm a very binary person. If I go for something, I go. And if I don't go, I don't go. It's the same thing, right? That's, that's why I don't play games, because if I start playing games, I go for 100% and I want to be the best and then I don't work anymore. You know what I mean? So that's, I know myself, right? I know what I can and I also know what I don't can or not can, 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 uh, whatever, trash can. And I know if I go back into smoking the cannabis and weed, it's, it's lost. If I go back into gaming, it's going to be lost. Um, so know yourself and... Uh, let them know. Yeah, yeah, I have some cool stories to tell, man. But um, I can, hey, I cannot put all my eggs in one basket, right? I, I, I still need to be here for a couple of years, right? I need to be interesting. But there are a lot of good stuff is coming up. Um, oh, it's time. It's time for football. I'm gonna, I'm gonna close close the stream in a couple of minutes. Then I'm gonna grab my kids from uh, from my from my room because they're playing in my bed, and I. You know, a big bad. Kids love that, right? Then I'm going to eat. And then I'm going to watch football. L Lionel Messi, number 10 of Argentina. Let's see what he does. Guys, predictions right now. Put it, in, put it below in the chat right now. 
Argentina, Croatia, what's going on? Who's gonna, what, what's, what's, what is it gonna be? Predict, I'm gonna predict, it's gonna be, I, I'm gonna swear to God, I hope. It's gonna be... 2-1. But wait, 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 who is, who is first? Is it, it's Argentina, Croatia, so it's gonna be... I don't know. Maybe if De Maria is playing, I don't know. I think I don't think he's playing because I think he's injured or something. Um, two one, two one Argentina. Two one. Although Croatia is very good, Croatia, Croatia is very good. Uh, maybe Mo if Modric scores, can you imagine that? Right? It's 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 one one. And. We are at the 70, 78th minute. No. 80, 88th minute. And we're almost at the extensions, right? Or whatever you want to call that first extension shit. And then Modric just. Makes a banger of a goal from outside of the 16. Bam! And Croatia wins. Oh my god! That would be insane! Oh! That would be crazy. Oh, penalties, I don't, I, I, I really don't hope. I think football is evolving in such a numbers game, right? Did you see the analytics these guys have? I was blown away. So they basically have uh, in the ball as a chip. And I think, not quite sure, but I think in the shirts also, I'm not quite sure what they do or it's with a camera, but I'm pretty sure that the ball has a chip. The ball has a chip for sure, a chip inside of the ball. But they can basically see uh, the complete heat map of these players and all these uh, percentages of when they touch the ball, right? This not, of course, you can make a heat map, it's pretty simple, but they can make heat maps of what zone did what player touch the ball or receive the ball, received an assist, and all that stuff, it's insane. And then they can they can do all that kind of stuff. So and all these data is also I think also available for all these coaches. So it's go, it's getting a numbers and a numbers game. And you can see that these matches. Uh, and correct me if I'm wrong. If when I was younger, when I was a very young young child, it's basically 30 years ago, uh, when I was six or something, or even more, uh, yeah, th around 30 years ago, football was more interactive, right? It was more. A lot of more goals were, were getting scored, I think. Not quite sure, but now it's very boring because it's it's so strategical game. But hey, that's maybe me. Um, yeah, there's a chip in the ball. Uh, yeah. Croatia loves to drag the matches to the penalties. It is, but hey, are you going to bet that? I, I, I wouldn't do that, man. If I could score a goal in the first half, I would do it because that's a mental... It's a mental benefit, right? If you can score a goal in the first half... Man, people, it's 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 semifinals, it's the World Cup. So, you, but I think these players are pretty well trained with these stress. But still, right? It's demo, demotivational, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna peace them out. Um, yeah. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, for everybody that's not subscribed. Hey. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, leave some questions in the comments. Jump into the Discord community so we can do some after party. Uh, do some football uh, shenanigans when it's when it's, when it's it's there. Do some predictions. And um, especially tomorrow when uh, Amir is... Uh, when France is going to uh, lose. <laughs> we will see. We will see. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'm looking forward to see you in um, one of my future streams. Probably Thursday or something. Thanks for watching. Peace out.